Hi there, I'm at the Saks conference here in Basel and I'm with Joel Cruzet who is the CEO of Inavevax, one of the most advanced um, company in the HIV functional cure space. Um, so I've just re recently you are in a, in a phase 2A. Um, how is it going and yeah, how are the results before? Okay, so yes, we are uh, very advanced in the functional cure arena. Um, in fact, so we are in phase 2A. Uh, it's a multi-center trial in France, Germany, and, uh, and Spain. Uh, previously, we ran the phase 1-2A in HIV-infected patients because we are developing a, um, a therapeutic vaccine. And the result looks very promising. It's safe, uh, well-tolerated, uh, basically like a flu vaccine. And we have seen some uh, signal of efficacy uh, in terms of uh, immune restoration properties of the vaccine with three different markers that were changed significantly towards our expectation, including the increase in the percentage of CD4 T cell, which is the main target of the virus. And also on top of that, we have seen the viral reservoir, which is uh, the holy grail for the functional cure, being decreased uh, significantly uh, during the trial. So very promising. We are, of course, eager to uh, have the results of the phase 2A, which is ongoing, and, uh, and working for the next steps. It's great. And, and your, your approach and your mechanism of action is really different from, from the existing. Like, can you tell me more on that? Yes, so, you know, HIV infection, it's all about uh, immune deficiency, basically. Uh, the antiretrovirals do a good job to really reduce the amount of virus uh, in the blood to nearly undetectable level, but still the immune system is, is, is not really recovering or partly recovering. So our approach is totally different to other vaccines which have promoted to, to boost a HIV-specific response towards the, the virus. Here we just promote we just promote an immune recovery so that the immune system has all the tools to better recognize, eliminate the virus. And that's what we are doing, very different. And uh, which is very interesting, it's we could also uh, be combined to other immunotherapies or other experimental medicines, which would be active also in the functional cure, uh, because maybe at the end of the day, it's not a single product that's going to win the race, but combination of two products, for yeah. instance. Like, like in cancer. Yeah. Like in cancer, but also like for antiretroviral, you need three of them or even four of them to be successful. Exactly. And we, we just published a, a review on HIV trying to, to really get a, a better sense in the big picture and we asked the question like yeah when, when will be the HIV cure coming will it be like 20, 2020 2025 what's what's your view on that well uh, of course it depends about the trial I think one is uh, has to bear in mind so uh, when a product or a combination of product is going to be efficacy efficacious um, um, the clinical um, uh, outcome is pretty quick to obtain because usually uh, when you know antiretroviral uh, therapy is a is a, is a lifelong therapy mm -hmm. if patients stop uh, their combined antiretroviral therapy within four weeks four weeks the virus rebounds and the infection start again uh, so here uh, in, in a clinical trial you just uh, apply this uh, functional cure therapy or remission therapy and just stop the combined antiretroviral therapy and within eight weeks you'll see whether you just delay uh, the rebound that you see at four weeks so at least the, f the, the proof of concept are going could come very quickly of course then we'll have a later a large larger phase three uh, for ne necessary for regulatory approval uh, it may be longer it may need to combine uh, uh, different products but i think every um, um, a different approach are put in place and could, 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 could be used synergistically at the end of the day. Okay. And, and how and we, we had like how do you see the, the interest from like the bigger farmers or the existing players compared to like the product in development or the interest in, in developing new products? Well, definitely this is the new uh, therapeutic paradigm. Um, um, and that will one day uh, substitute to combine antiretroviral therapy to all or part of the patient which are uh, under such therapy. Um, so definitely it's going to be the case now. The big pharma are in this are in the race. Uh, Gilead, which is the leader, is running uh, phase one 
two clinical trial on a, a, a homemade, a, a home derived product, and, and the other also working uh, like Merck are working actively at the research level. So uh, the races start, the, the race is on, and uh, we'll see. Uh, uh, we hope to be just uh, continuing uh, having the lead there, uh, uh, and, and are planning our next studies. Great. Thank you very much then, and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.